Oh no, I've already messed up. So I have to have cash. This is why we had so much trouble. You should be telling me what shoe to wear. All right, I think I'm getting it. This thing's genius. I don't have a car. So then how do I tell? And I went to use the hot tub and then had to air dry. This is a shit show trying to move six bags. I just got a cart, a cart with three bags on it. And we got to somehow pick up my force plates too, so. Yikes. Rachel's gone trying to get some sort of form. I don't know where she went, so I'm just hanging out here with eight suitcases and a purse and a backpack. We are making our way to the taxis. I have a couple of videographers following me, so maybe we'll be able to share footage. I think we slept like maybe, what, three and a half hours or so? We're running off of minimal sleep. Rachel's had 17 coffees already. We've had a lot of coffee. <laughs> 17? No, no. <laughs> Well, due to inclement weather, our fan fest just got uh, canceled for today. So we get some time to relax at the hotel. A little bit more time to breathe, which will be good. This, oh, here. I see it. Oh, is this like a, uh, like a ring? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Please insert. Oh, yeah. That's right. To turn the lights on, right? It's all coming back to me now. Oh, no. I've already messed up. <laughs> It's currently 9 a.m. on Friday. The press conference starts at 11. It's gonna be streamed live on YouTube. Apparently it's in a very large meeting room. There's like a whole bunch of media members outside. I imagine there's gonna be a lot more. It's still 40 minutes before the press conference is supposed to happen. So see how many people show up. Supposedly like 100 or something, but we'll see. Are you nervous? Super nervous. I think you did well. Butterflies calmed down a little bit. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got through it. It's over now. So on to more, I guess, more enjoyable things. Baseball stuff. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> uh, they actually want you to hold it. Here, Here. answer the question. Impression. What's your impression about baseball? The team. Very good. Finished second last year. Hopefully first this year. Lots of fan excitement. Okay, press conference is done. It's good stuff, but it's not the, the fun stuff. Now we're off to the dock, so you guys get to see the dock for the first time. The only problem is I still don't have a club, so we're gonna have to figure out what to do about that uh, when we get there. So this is the minor league complex, right? Who's driving a G-Wagon to minor league complex? complex. Big leaguers? Hello. Oh. Maybe not. Sorry. Nice to meet you. So here's my locker for the next couple weeks. We got a bunch of base stars gear right here that I need to unpack, so I'm gonna get to that. Pretty cool thing here. Your number is like actually pressed onto the shorts, which is not how it is in the States. And the reason for that, as I understand it, is they have less than a hundred people in their organization between the one minor league team and the big league team. And so when you get a number, you're the same number in the minor leagues and the big leagues. So you get your same stuff, the same jersey, which is pretty cool. It's time to stop by a uh, athletic store and try to pick up a glove. There's a sporting goods store back here. Yeah, uh, yeah, apparently. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a, an alleyway where there would be like a baseball store, but we'll see. I trust you. I'll go to five. They go like five gloves for the pitchers, right handed, that they have right now. Uh, okay. I think they see it's not a big store, so they don't, they don't hold much stocks. So yep. whatever they feel is really good. I'm sure one of these will work. Bro, Wagyu JB. Wagyu JB. Wagyu actually for like <laughs> cattle and meat. Meat yeah. Wagyu. Yeah. Using the skin. Is orange good color? Miyazaki Tensan no Wagyu. Oh. Wagyu from Miyazaki, which is in the uh, South, all in the South of Japan. Yeah. And they actually. Manufactured there as well. Very light. The features are, uh, first of all, light and also it's a really good, really good, good cow. So it actually has a good um, touch and feel of the hand. Yeah, durability. Yeah. Yeah, really, yes, it's good as well. It's very elastic. Should I do black? I mean, I don't want to be like too flashy. Maybe I should, should I be flashy? <laughs> Will he get funny looks for being, for having an orange glass? I don't think so. No. Size, 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 size is good. 
just hides my hand with the ball enough, so that's all I need. A little bit bigger. Um, long. This one seems like, seems like it's made to have the finger in here. Ah, so this is a pitcher, and the hand is there, but the pitcher is not supposed to have the hand out. The pitcher is not supposed to have your finger out. It's covered. So, you know, I, yeah. I like that color. Yeah, this color is oh. nice. Oh. One of the purposes of having this cover. Once your finger is out there, um, you feel a little more relaxed than it's all in. Hey, it's pink. <laughs> can, you can have pink like that? These are all certified for high school baseball, which is a bit more strict than the uh, NPD baseball. We found four gloves here that work. <laughs> found zero in the States. So, <laughs> it's going instead. Uh -huh. Which one I do you like the best? Hide, but... These ones, because I don't like having my finger out. I always wear my finger in. Mm. And it's like a... Size wise. Yeah, size is yeah. That's good enough. Bigger ones, smaller what, ones. What size is a... Uh... Is it 12? 11.5 inch. 11.5. Do you have a 12? These are actually the longest when it comes to the length. Oh, okay. You would never find a baseball store like this, like in an alleyway in the United States. Like the big stores that are sporting goods with like a very small baseball section. Yeah, exactly. It's a 11.5 inch. 11 and a half. Right. 11 and a half, yeah, but it's big enough. If you don't like it, that one without the finger cover. Can I use that though? Because no, the good. laces are different colors. Oh, this is fine. That's okay? Mm. This is fine. Uh -oh. Are you kidding me? We yeah. were told. Yeah, we were told that laces have to be the same color as the leather. And this is why we had so much trouble finding a glove. <laughs> oh my goodness, it gets better every day. You keep coming back to it. I think I think this is the way we go. Well, if I find out we can have different colored ones and I can get creative, I want something that I know I can use, <laughs> which is that going one. to be this. Yeah. It's up to how much you want it to be bricked in. And they can do it before we leave? For like 20, 30 minutes. It will make it, you know, good enough to just play catch and everything. They have a machine that like hits it? Steamer. Steamer, okay. Steam it. It's honestly not, it's honestly not bad. Like you can, we can do, we can break it in. So since I'm going to have to hit, they have batting gloves here too. And uh, I have no idea how to pick out batting gloves. So I'm just going to pick a pair. Uh, maybe, uh, I know that guy. He's a pretty good hitter, so uh, maybe I'll get the Joey Votto pair. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, like Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Oh, oh, like there that. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. All the convenience stores you see in, in, right next to the cashier. They like a steamy bun. It's exactly the same machine. <laughs> what is the purpose of steaming it? Is it to like soften the leather? By steaming this, it gets softer and give you a little more space. And while it's soft, you change the shape, you, you know, create a shape. Then once it gets uh, cooled down, the, the, the shape. Uh, it's gonna stay in the same. Okay. Once he steams it, how long does it stay like soft? Just a little bit warm, but it's enough moisture to like make the leather relax a little bit. Particularly a very sensitive leather that you chose this one, so he doesn't want to hit it for a uh, steamy for a long time because it's gonna ruin the the leather. I never actually considered the type of leather on any of my gloves. <laughs> I just, oh, it's a glove, and I just catch it, and it either breaks or it doesn't. <laughs> so I think this whole not having a glove saga might finally be over. Wagyu JB glove, and I think Wagyu JB stands for Wagyu Japanese Bowl. But uh, the place that we found to get this was actually super cool. People who just love baseball run it, and you just never find that in the United States. Watching him like break it in and the way he like molded the glove, and now after he did all this stuff, like it's like fully, I can squeeze it. Usually I break in a glove by just putting it on my hand and catching a bunch of balls with it. So I'm gonna have to learn a lot more about uh, hand craftsmanship for gloves. Okay. So you don't have a cashier, do you? 
I don't have cash, but I need to get cash. Oh, look at that. I purchased a new passport. Oh, that's so smart. I could actually use it. I never would have figured that out. I never would have looked at the top and seen language. Purchase a black passport. Name it a passport. What the? Maybe just that. Oh, passport. yeah. And then this I should be able to do with a uh, credit card. Okay. Oh, you can charge with a credit card. Yeah. Now, thousand yen is here. Guidance will be displayed in English. Charge. And you pay by credit? I don't know how to do that. You can't charge with a credit card. Like at all? Or so, so even on the app? With app, yeah. So I have to have cash to put money on the passport. Card. Right. Okay. And now you have a thousand yen right here. And how much how many yen is it for a So to you go to Yokohama station, it's gonna cost two hundred and ninety yen. You can do at least a three time, but a fourth time you gotta So I'll have to figure out how to do that on my phone probably, but okay. So I have my passport card and now I need to figure out what is the right train to take. Sorry. Yoshi is stuck. So Yoshi is being kind enough to uh, travel with me via train to show me how to do it uh, so I don't get lost. So eventually I can do this on my own. I can't read any of this. So I have no clue what train to get on or what time it's going to arrive or anything. So that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Okay, so while Yoshi is stuck, let's uh, let's talk about transportation. In the States, to get to the field when we're at home, I would hop in my truck. Here, I don't have a car. The team will cover the cab price to and from the local station, but I have to cover the train price from the local station to Yokohama and the cab back to my apartment. Okay, like how do I read this? Uh, so Hinagawa. So it says hey, three, actually, four. train is coming soon, so can we go? Oh, okay. yeah. So three, three four is always for Yokohama and Shinagawa. So when you go work, when you go to the dock, you want to go farther away from Shinagawa. Well. Okay. And then when you go back home, you're, you want you want to go to Yokohama. Right. Okay, this is confusing. So I look up here and I see Shinagawa, green. Uh huh. But what if I don't see Shinagawa and green? I wait for the next train. Yes. So I okay. See how this goes. The train that says Shinagawa and it's green. It doesn't have to be green. Green is the limited express, which is the fastest train. So any color train but black is fine. So then how do I tell where I am right now? Since we are a limited express, we're gonna skip those four stations. Oh, the I next see. station we're gonna go is Kamioka. Okay. So maybe this Chinese character is something you wanna remember because this is where you wanna get a take off. You know? Okay. And the ones that are highlighted black are where this train is gonna stop. And the gray ones are where the train is skipping. Now on the outside of the train, how do I tell which train is going where? But does it flash in English and Japanese as well? Uh, how often do the trains run? Every five, ten minutes. All right, I think I'm getting it. Yokohama is actually easier. If you go to the dock, it will be harder. It's simple. Maybe you want to take off from the central all the time. Okay. That way it's not too confusing. Okay, so I need central exit. So we have to go this way and up. Oh wait, do I have to scan my card? I think my thing just didn't close. And then east exit. I need to write that down. You want to follow. So if I'm lost, I either go to Nissan or I go to Minato Mirai. Okay, I know where I am. I go across here, out the other side, turn right, and then I end up at the west. Yes. Okay. One thing that's different here in Japan is everyone takes their shoes off when they get in. So take your shoes off, put them there. And then if you want, there's some uh, slippers right over here. So you can wear those around, or you can just walk around in socks. The reason this happens is because they view outside shoes as different from inside. Outside's dirty, and all your shoes that you wear on the field or getting to the field get put right here. And then cleats will be in these lockers. And I don't have a locker quite yet, but my cleats are down. Where are my cleats? You'll put your cleats on when you come off the field. So the field's over here. I'll give you guys a tour of the locker room here. Man, I hope he shows us the sink. Sink. Nice. Now in America, your laundry will all be at your locker. They do laundry in the facility. Here they have like a laundry service, so it'll come back two days after you put it in. You'll come in the morning and you'll pick up your jersey right here. That's my jersey. Next up on the to-do list, we gotta get some shoes, gotta get some hangers. It's my first trip to the mall. Well, Ryu is worried about how it's gonna Ryu's go. Ryu's not worried. Ryu's worried. 
that is gonna be crowded. Well, it is crowded, so he's accurate about that. Let's see if they even have shoes that are my size. They have a sports authority here, so I recognize that name. That made it easy. Well, a 28 might might work. What is a 10 and a half? Is that 20? Well, 20... 11, 29. There you go. Oh yeah, there we go. 20 is this. What are you picking for me? Bright colored ones? Here, the Pegasus. I like Pegasus. I run in Pegasus sometimes. Yeah, that's the right size. Yeah. yeah sure. One, two. Three. Arigato. Thank Arigato. you. Thank yes. You don't like new balls. He's a he's a like creature it. of habit. Okay. New balls would be fine. Okay. What are these? Polka. Polka. They're like the new thing. Maybe a good running shoe. Yeah. I don't know. This is what Shohei Otani uses. Awesome. What about Skechers? Skechers. That's what Kurt. Hey. Where? You're the you're the agent. You should be telling me what shoe to wear so you can get me a deal with them. What shoe should I wear, agent? Uh, Does Asics sell shoes here? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. First experience at Japanese mall. Success. Took a couple pictures with fans. I followed my uh, my main shopping rule, which is you can only buy what you can carry in your hands, no carts. Yeah, except for when you that when you go grocery shopping, which is the dumbest thing. Rachel's not a fan of my shopping rules, but you know, who cares? First time out and about in Japan without a translator. I'm in search for hangers. I don't know how to say hangers. We know how to say gozaimasu and arigato gozaimasu. We're looking for hangers, but we know how to say thank you. I think the plan is to just look on the aisles and see if we find them first. You're welcome. Damn, I'm good. You have like a sixth sense, you literally walk directly to them. Wait, what are these hangers? I've never seen these before. Oh, they go like you twist. I don't know if I should get those or not, but uh, I guess those are for like shirts to keep them like the shoulders spread. That's kind of cool. I just want basic hangers though. Those are too heavy. They're like thick hangers. I don't need. All right, we've decided. 20 metal hangers. Let's go pay and see if we can figure that out. Hi, yes. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Great. Oh, we did it. First uh, transaction, first checkout. Had a little bit of help, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. Successful first trip, I think. Using Google Translate, we have filled in an order. We have no idea if it's right or not, so we marked different quantities of the different things that we chose to see if we nailed it or not. Yeah. What do you got, Rach? This thing has a goddamn eye in it. It doesn't even have a chance. Which one's the normal soy sauce? But is one like more sodium, less sodium? Well, chalupa. Thinking is one thing. Knowing says freshness is the key to delicious soy sauce. Doesn't really answer our question. First impression. Increíble. <laughs> I praise from chalupa. We got our full uh, platter of tuna and salmon here. So we did get it right on the fatty tuna being toro, but I thought it was four pieces of uh, sashimi, five pieces of nigiri. What it turns out to be is four pieces of nigiri and five pieces of nigiri but seared. There's a translation that said fatty tuna with rust. It apparently means seared. The shop I went to to get my glove also makes undershirts and they make them custom with like players logos and likenesses and stuff on them so they actually had Shota Imanaga bring some of those to me today check this out I think that's pretty sick I'm gonna ask them if they can make me one with the B logo there but that's honestly pretty sick you got Bauer my silhouette the lightning bolt 96 it's pretty sick I'm gonna be wearing those a lot now, I was originally a little bit concerned because I saw double XL as the size, but sizes are a little bit different here in Japan. And I mean, it fits pretty well. Look at that. My new favorite undershirt right here. They also made a short sleeve version with a slightly different logo. Check this out. But I think I like the first one 
better. So shout out to the guys at Cross Sports for these shirts. Thanks. Big day today. First day back playing catch with a baseball. It's going to be a, a light day for sure. Maybe get out to like 90 feet or so, but uh, it'll be good to be back on a field in cleats with a baseball in my hand playing catch, feeling like an actual baseball player. So let's go. Weighted balls done. Let's go find a baseball and play some catch. Well, first day of throwing is over. Great first day. Got out to about 230 feet, no problem. Spun all my pitches. Command was terrible because I haven't thrown a baseball in like two weeks, but, uh, or a week, week and a half. Um, right now I'm gonna go get a lift in and uh, finish up for the day. Today's the power day. So we got the gym wear out, hooked up to the gym wear app. The goal of today's lift is to move about 0.7 to one meters per second. That's the average uh, bar speed or the peak bar speed. Since I'm going for power output, I'm going for the peak bar speed. See how fast I move it. If it's above 0.1, I add more weight. If it's below 0.7, I take some weight off. Okay, so that set was pretty good. That was 245 pounds. Um, as you can see here, and it's giving me the average peak velocity of those six reps. My left leg leading was actually stronger. My block leg is definitely stronger than my drive leg, um, to be expected. And we're pairing the split squats today with some split squat jumps. It's called PAP, post-activation potentiation. Trying to get a little bit of uh, fast twitch muscle fiber, move a lot of weight fast, and then move a very little amount of weight much faster. So one of the major differences here for showering at the field, the policy is you have your own towel. And so the other day I did not realize that and I had no towels left and I went to use the hot tub and then had to air dry. <laughs> I had Rachel yesterday go get me a couple towels. So now I have towels for the field. You have to write your number on them so they know which locker to put them back in and there's no tags on the towels. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to like write my number on a blue towel so that it uh, comes back to my locker. Cause if not, then I'm gonna end up air drying again, so. Okay, today will be my first day taking the train from my residence. I also have an update on the PASMO card. Yoshi got me a uh, PASMO card and put like three train rides worth of money on it. I added the plastic PASMO card to my phone. Heard that that's the best way to do it. And I tried to add more money to it but all of my credit cards are visas. Every other credit card works fine, just not visa cards that were issued in the United States. Because I only have three more train rides of money on my current PASMO card. And then I have to either figure out how to buy a new plastic PASMO card. The plastic PASMO card now does not work because I've added it to my Apple wallet. But for that, I'll need cash. I'm gonna ask Ryu if he has any suggestions on that. Uh, and I think I still owe you some cash for... Um, as he's gonna be going with me on the train. So at some point today, can we figure out how to get cash. <laughs> okay, why are we turning? So I need to look for the kite JQ. Save 100 yen? Yeah. Should I give you, yeah, like three rides. So now we're looking for... Okay. How do we know to go up here? Uh, okay, how do I know that though? So we're looking for a red line. And how do I, because I would not know how to turn up here, because I didn't see an English sign. It doesn't matter what platform, like one, two. If I get on that side, can I get on this train? Or no, I have to be on this. All right, I'm gonna, okay. Okay, so why are we supposed to have our backpack on the front? If you have a backpack on the back, somebody tried to go through behind you. Blocked. So it's, a, it's like a respect thing yeah. for the fellow passengers. I don't think I've ever seen anyone in the States, besides my dad, wear his backpack on the front. So once we get off here, I just need to get down to street level, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so from here, the, this part is when I would either- Are you two strapping? Find a cab. My backpack? Yeah. Just a, a cab that's sitting here on my own and tell them to the dock. And are there usually cabs just- So this is this is taxi. I would just come to this point here and I would just sit and wait for- How long does it take usually? Next up, we're on our way to find an ATM so I can get some cash, because I owe Ryu for some, uh... Okay, English. Uh... English. Yes. Ah. You got your quiche. Perfect. <laughs> I have successfully used a Japanese ATM. That should count as, like, uh, level up points or something, or I should evolve. I should go, like, the next level. Scan credit. Scan it in. 
Rio just informed me that Google Maps and Apple Maps have a public transit section and it'll actually show you a little blue line or whatever, a uh, little route to tell you where you're going. I'm always surprised with what the technology is now these days. Going to tournaments, I would have to print out a map from MapQuest. <laughs> so I came over to the kitchen to cook my meat and I looked for a pan and this is what I found. And you might notice that there's a couple things stacked there and they look like pans, but they're not pans. There's no handle to them. And I was a little bit confused until I found this ingenious piece of equipment, which is a handle that just clips on to a pan. So if I want this small pan, look at that. And if I don't want the small pan, and instead I want the whole pan stacked, look at that. And if I want to put them all away and stack them together in the drawer, they're way easier to stack than each one of these things having a handle coming out. This thing's genius. I gotta get me one. Okay, time to get some throwing done for the day. And then here in about 45 minutes, I'm gonna go over to watch today's game, uh, minor league game, and sign some autographs for fans. So uh, if you wanna have the opportunity to get autographs from me and hang out, like catch, stuff like that, you can join the official Trevor Bauer fan club. We'll put a link in the description. For those of you who have watched the vlog before, you'll know that I usually track all my throwing sessions with a heart rate monitor. Uh, I no longer wear a heart rate monitor, but uh, I use this Apple Watch using the little workout feature on it. Pro tip for those of you who have an Apple Watch, track your heart rate when you throw. So that way when I'm done throwing, I take all my data from the Apple Watch, I open up 4app, I log all my data, and that way I can tell what I did every day, and then how my next day's metrics were affected by what I did today. That way I can get the most out of every day. If you don't track your data, you never know that information, so you can't make improvements to your routine. That's all for throwing today. Let's go sign some autographs for the fans. So we gave the fans like, what, hour notice? Yeah. About an hour notice, and look how many people showed up. So today is my first day taking the train to the dock on my own. I have to take the right trains and get off at the right exit. We'll see if I nail all those things. Feel pretty confident about it, but uh, I know I can always mess things up. So on my route to the train station, I take a trip through the Nissan headquarters. And you know, it's uh, it's not McLaren, but uh, there's a GTR right here. This is the morning view on my walk to the train station. Get a little bit of sunlight, a little bit of cold morning air. Good way to wake up every morning. And people stand on the left here. You're supposed to stand on the left so people walking down the escalator can pass on the right. I always end up standing on the right because that's kind of where everyone walks in the States, but uh, things are reversed here. You drive on the left side of the road instead of the right. What's going on? Fast milk card is not working. It should be working. I don't know how to troubleshoot this. Okay, there we go. One big thing checked off. Hopefully I'm at the right station. I nailed that. I know that because I can see Ryu standing over here by the taxi cab station. I did it! <laughs> 